When storms created a dangerous situation in Kenneville on the evening of Monday, August 10th, the community launched into action, practicing asset-based community development, and they didn't even know it. Noble New Way promotes the principles of asset-based community development, which build on the assets found in the community and mobilizes people to come together to develop their strengths. In action, it's a small and formal group of people who work with a common interest. In this case, it was neighbor helping neighbor clean up after the storms. After it was kind of, we could figure out it was all clear to come out of the basement and go outside and take a look around. We saw a lot of damage in front of our house and so I called the police chief and asked him to come pick me up so I could, we could drive around the city and do an assessment and we saw so many down trees and I uh, wanted to put out roadblocks and whatnot so as it got darker the people wouldn't hit the trees because it was just way too much for the street department to keep up with. By the next morning, it wasn't just the devastation that was most evident. Community members leaped into action to help others. People really got to action and we saw, you know, sports teams and coaches and teachers and parents with pickup trucks just picking up everything and really working together. East Noble's head football coach Luke Amstutz and head girls soccer coach Brian Rexrode saw an opportunity and called athletic director Nick David to get their players out in the community to help. Uh, the kids got together with the coaches, went around and tried to help out as many people as possible. It wasn't just us, it was amazing to see the amount of people out just walking around and, and that's when you know that you have a pretty special community. Lori Van Camp was one of the recipients of that generosity. In a Facebook post, she shared, The day started out pretty rough. We were pretty discouraged by all of the damage and work ahead of us. My Uncle Bob brought over a chainsaw and my mom came to help. And just when we were getting pretty tired, a group of EN athletes came and helped in the front yard. I shed a few tears at this point. We started working on the back, and another little group led by Nick and Katie David came and helped clear the driveway. Then my dad, Red Coleman, and Don G came with chainsaws to help. We had been blessed with awesome neighbors, Laura and Sam Zalman, and they were helping us too. I'm exhausted and sore, but so grateful for all the help. There aren't enough words to describe my husband. He is the best. I can't say it enough, but thank you to everyone who came and helped. Sue Abs shared something she saw. I wanted to send a huge thank you to the ladies driving around Kendallville. They were passing out cold water and sandwiches for everyone working to clean up tree limbs. Bless our wonderful community volunteers. Jim Sprandall, who doesn't make a living with his photography, uses his talent to record many of Kendallville's assets. From Bixler Lake Park to the Windmill Museum, the development of the Community Learning Center to clean up from the storms, Jim's gift for photography has become a treasure in the community. He helped document this amazing cleanup effort. I have to give kudos to all of my departments. So you had water, wastewater, park, you know, street department, all out there working together with different trucks, different front loaders, everybody working together to try to get the community back together as quickly as possible. Even fire departments from other communities came to Kenneville to help the town secure the areas where damage was found. Nick David not only helped get the sports teams mobilized, but his family pitched in too. As I know if we were ever in that situation, uh, our, the kids here, the coaches, the community would do the same thing. Um, that's what we love about it. My wife's a, a history teacher here at the high school. Both my kids go to school here and uh, they were very excited about getting out and just helping people that maybe could not get out and help themselves. As a community, Kendallville always rolls up their sleeves and comes together to help whoever needs help. You just gotta ask for it if you need it.